Hi everyone, I'm Vestic, and I will be installing the Lunatic Pandora mods for Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. And this guide already assumes that you have the game installed somewhere, whether it's through Steam or something else on your computer. You have to be able to get to your files for the game in order for this to work for you. Let's go ahead and download the mods. I will post the link to the mods down below, but for now, if you want to find it through Google, Search for QHIMM, which is the forum where the mods are, and then Final Fantasy VIII Remastered Mods. And it will be the first result that comes up. Let's go ahead and click into there. And here is the mod list that we're going to download. The Jero Jero mod has been deprecated. It's no longer up to date. We don't need to worry about that. And then the Seed Remastered fonts version 1.0 is included in the Seed Remastered UI version 1.2 now. They haven't updated the link name here. But let's go ahead and get the Seed Remastered, Seed Remastered UI version 1.0. Click on that link. And it will take us here. And we have an updated backsplash for the main menu. It does show that the finger icon has been changed to the gunblade icon, but in the remastered version, you have to do a little bit extra to actually make that happen. If you just do the basic steps to get the mods in and working, you'll have this background and the updated text and everything with this selector icon, the finger. And your backgrounds aren't going to be blue and fancy, they'll still be the normal gray backgrounds for your menus. With that being said, the link is right here, the big red one. So let's go ahead and click the link. It'll take you to the download site. I already have these downloaded, but you will want to click the download button. Go ahead and download the file and then head back to our mod list. Like I said, the Seed Remastered fonts is already included in the UI, so we can jump down to Battlefield Pack. Now this one updates the backgrounds of all the battlefields, and it is very noticeable as you can see. We have the old, normal Final Fantasy VIII backgrounds here, but they have updated, sharpened, colored, everything in this mod. And here you have the blurry mountains, the grainy mountains, and a very sharp image back here. Uh, this link will be the blue link, the Battlefield Pack 1.3.1. Click it, it'll take you to Mega. Go ahead and click the download button once that gets loaded up. Download the file, and then head back to our mod list page, where we can get the Horizon pack. And this is all the world textures. You can see Balaam is a little bit grainy, washed out, and over here it has been updated. It looks nice. The yellows are very yellow. The lines are very sharp. There's not grainy lines. The roads are roads. They're not gravelly, whatever this is over here. So keep scrolling down. We want to look for the remastered pack. Version 1.0 is for the original Steam release for 2013, the non-remastered version. We want the 1.1.A. Click on that. It'll take us to the mega site where we want to click the download button again. And once that's going, head back to the mod list and we can do the field model textures. So clicking in there, this just updates the field models. You can see the vehicle here is a lot sharper. The shadows are, are darker. I guess those aren't shadows. The, uh, the paint job on the car is better. It's easier to see. And the file we want here is the field model texture 1.0.1. Again, this will take us to the mega site. Download the file. 
and head back to the mod page. And our next one is Rebirth Flame. Now this one updates the character models, and we also have a choice to make of which version you want. We want the vanilla upscale, that's the HD character models, and Rebirth Flame Remastered version 2.0-V and 2.0-SR have all of the character models upscaled. Vanilla upscales the normal remastered character models, and the dash SR does the same thing except Squall and Renoa have new character models. And I'm going to go ahead and download this, the Squall and Renoa file. It'll take you to the mega site, click download, and we want to go back to the Rebirth Flame page. There's a couple more files that we're going to get here. Scroll down to the bottom of the page, and we have links to the Demaster Mod tool. So click the Demaster link. It will take you to a different forum post that gets you a GitHub link, and that's where we're going to get this tool. So click on the GitHub link, download the latest version you have, mine is 1.3.3, and it should be the .7z file. So click that, download, you can head back to the mod list. The next one is Lunar Cry. This will update all of the monster models. The bite bug is a little hard to tell. You can see that it's a little sharper, not as grainy on the wings. But the oil bile has these little oil tentacly whatever things popping out of its feet. And that's where you can really see the lines pop. So they have done this for all the monsters in the game. And the link is this purple link here. So click into that. Go to Mega. Click download, and then head back to the uh, mod page. And the next one is Lionheart, which is an HD update upgrade for the weapon models. And this one is only for the PC release of Final Fantasy VIII. They have a bunch of switch ports and a bunch of switch ports, a bunch of ports for other versions of the game. So if you're trying to make the guide work with that, read into these posts. If you're trying to make this guide work for Switch games or other versions of the game, read in these posts a little bit deeper to make sure that you're not uh, missing anything. And as you can see, he's updated some of Squall's weapons that look very similar so that they're easier to tell apart. He has the two red blades with the darker metal for one. and He's just completely changed the colors, blue, orange instead of red, red. And this other one has the same darker metal, and he's given that a, a blue highlight here, and then the red highlight on the blade, and then red here. And you can tell that they're different upgraded weapons. And if you missed the D Master and the ZZD Archive tool, the links are here as well. They're both here, which makes it really convenient. So we're going to want the HD link, the Lionheart Remastered version 2.0. Click that link, head over to Mega, and click the download button. And then we're heading back for the final mod in the mod list, which is Tripod or Triple Triad. This updates all of the cards and the playing board. And we want the Demaster version. The ZZ Archive mods a file the Demaster version allows us to kind of drag and drop the files over, so it's a lot more user-friendly. So click that Demaster link. This will take us to a Google Drive page instead of Mega. And your download button is here in the top corner. So go ahead and download the file. And we have all of the mods in our download folder. So we can move on to installing them in the next step. You can close out of your browser and just go back to your Steam page if that's where you have the Final Fantasy VIII Remastered game downloaded. Or you need to find your file folder where the game files are right now. And I'm going to show you how to find them in Steam. 
There's a little cog icon here underneath the banner, the game banner. Click it, head down to properties, and we're going to go to local files here on the left and browse. And that will take you to your game files. So you want to have your game files up and another file explorer window with your downloads. Now before we start installing the mods, there is one very important thing to be aware of. The game without mods is about two and a half gigabytes. After the mods are all installed, it's going to be just under 10 gigabytes. So it's going to be a very large game in comparison to the vanilla remastered. And make sure you have enough space on your hard drive to accommodate these mods after they get installed. And here I have two file explorer windows open. The one on the left are all the game files from Steam. And the one on the right is the one with all of the modded files that we just downloaded. So our first step is going to be double click on the demastered version, whatever you have. Open up your WinRAR, 7Z, WinZip, whatever. You don't need to extract them. It's just a drag and drop thing. So we want to, I'm going to use the English version. There's the, the English, French, whatever, Japanese, Chinese, and Asia. So I'm going to click on the EN for English, and we're going to want to drag all of these files here over to our game file window. So drag and drop. It will want to replace a couple files. Go ahead and let it. The launcher is what's going to tell it to use the HD files in the mods. And that's why we're replacing the launcher. Okay, now that they're over there, we need to find the FF8 Demaster Manager. Go ahead and double click on the manager. And it'll pop up this little dialog that says it can't find the Demaster folder. We want it to create that folder and add the files it needs in there. And we will get this lovely little yellow screen here that is unpacking all those files into the DMaster folder here. And with the magic of video editing, I will see you when it is done unpacking. And voila, we're done. This will pop up. We don't need to do anything with this, so we can go ahead and exit out. Okay, now we want to open up our dmaster underscore exp folder, and the hardest part is done. The rest of this is just dragging and dropping the texture folder of the rest of our mods, in this case, 2 through 9 into here and then letting it replace whatever it needs to in the texture folder. So double click into seed remastered, double click into the folder, drag and drop the texture files into the dmaster underscore exp folder and replace the files that it wants to replace. And we're going to do this for every single one of these mods that we've downloaded. So the next one is the Battlefield Pack. Click into there, click into the Battlefield Pack folder, drag and drop the texture folder into the dmaster underscore exp folder, let it do its thing, and replace the files that it wants to replace. Okay, head back to your mods and the next is the horizon pack double click into the folder drag and drop the texture file and then head back we're going to do field model textures next open the file drag and drop the texture folder wait for that to finish if there are any files to replace let it replace them Okay, field model textures are done. Next is Rebirth Flame. Same thing, double click into the folder, drag and drop the textures.
replace the files. The next mod is Lunar Cry. Open up the folder, drag and drop the folder. Head back to the mod list. Lionheart is the next one. Double click into the Lionheart folder, drag and drop the texture folder. Replace the files. Then head back to your mod list for the tripod. Go into the tripod folder, move the textures over to the DMaster EXP folder, replace the files, and we're done. Now we can head back to Steam and start our game up to see how the mods look. Here we are at the opening menu with our nice gunblade icon. I'm going to go ahead and start up a save. Oh, and you can see the blue gradient background too. So I'll start up a save and we can run through a few of the other things to check out how the game looks. Here we are outside of Balaam Garden. You can see the mountains in the back are rocky. They're not blurry. The grass is not as bad as it used to be. Balaam is really pretty. And the road is a road. And here in the menu you have the blue gradient background if you chose to do that. The gunblade sword. And you have the updated GF pictures here. Let's get into a fight and see what the backgrounds and the monsters look like. Here's a couple of bite bugs and you can see Squall's updated sword. You can see the insignia on the blade and the background is really pretty. Check out a forest battle next. Okay, so we have the forest background. The Carter Chapiller looks really nice. And you'll notice that some of the scenes load a little slower. It's just because it's taking longer to load up the HD backgrounds and the HD models. And if that's a game breaker for you, then just Vanilla Remastered is still a great option. And one more thing to check out is we picked up the Triple Triad cards. As you can see, the borders are nice and clean. The back of the card is just updated a little bit. It still has that little gritty edge work around it. And the monster images are upscaled. They're a little smaller, but they're upscaled and they're not blurry at all. And there you have it. A beautifully modded Final Fantasy VIII remastered game. Get out, explore, see what the uh, mods have done for you in the game. And if this guide helped you out, please like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have questions, I will get to them as soon as I can to try and help you out. Thank you everyone, and I'll see you next time.